forget? How could I forget? I was on a Greyhound way before the jet. Buffalo, New York was like the furthest I could get. At the Walden Galleria, trying to make the money stretch. Student price card. Well, that's a verse in Drake's new album for all the dogs. It's near the end of the song, Away From Home. We thought it was really cool seeing Buffalo represented by a major artist, and we wanted to talk about it with an expert. And so Adri V from Power 97, 93.7 WBLK is here to talk about the song. Buffalo is known for the bills, known for the wings, known for the blizzards. But um, when Drake is shouting out the Walden Galleria, it's a whole new level. What do you think about it? You know, Drake is known for shouting us out. You know, started out when he's talking about making his trips to Niagara Falls, shout out to Buffalo, never ducking low, always ducking low, and then also referencing us when he mentioned Damon College, of course, and at the WBOK, mentioning the quiet storm as well. Right. So he has a history of making sure he pays homage to WBOK, to Buffalo, which is a place that definitely helped mold him when it comes to music. So I think it's amazing each and every time he does it. You mentioned how he referenced Damon College in the past in one of his songs by mentioning a college, you know, a smaller college, mm -hmm. right? It, well, it's, it was Damon College yes. then, it's Damon University now. Yes. But what does that do for the psyche of the people who are listening in Buffalo? And really, what does it do for Buffalo on the map nationwide? I know you go around, you're known as the go-getter, so <laughs> what are people saying when they hear that? So when he mentioned Damon University now, right, it was then when it was one of his first shows that he was out performing. Um, interesting enough, he's an amazing show. I have friends who were actually there at that concert, and they got a chance to hang out with him after the fact, right? Um, but when when he mentioning of Buffalo, it really pays attention to the fact that he always is going to pay homage to his beginnings, his humble beginnings. You know, even in the song, in his album for um, All the Dogs, he talked about how he had to make his money stretch, going to the Galleria Mall. He went from the Jets to the from the Greyhound to the Jets, the right? Greyhound of Gray, all places, the Gray, right? Yeah, you know, driving and riding a Greyhound. Now he's on the Jets, but he speaks about his humble beginnings, you know, his journey, and I think it's a, it's an amazing thing. But also, what I love the fact is that not only does Drake mention Buffalo, but he also mentions the different artists that are also came up during the time, you know, with him. So we're talking about the Benny the Butchers, the Conway the Machines, the West Side Guns, yeah. who are now also national artists, right. you know, with the likes of um, getting a tip from Jay-Z's and the, the Diddy's, um, who pay homage to them as well. And, you know, just recently, Benny the Butcher um, was at the BET Hip Hop Awards. Right, Conway right. the Machine was nominated for um, Lyrics of the Year, um, and West Side is actually Actually dropping an album tonight so now we have our own artists and we have these national artists that are mentioning our artists who are now national too um, and I just love the fact that there's a camaraderie with that and that he acknowledges them all the while acknowledging Buffalo because they've been driving it as well. Adrian V from WBLK <laughs> thank you so much for joining us oh, and it's awesome. always good when we can talk about Drake whoever thought we'd see Drake next to the Walden Galleria but that's where he was. <laughs> there Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.